What? Right. What's happening, everyone? Oh dear, we're at the scrapyard. Let's fill this window up. Um, we've got quite a full load. I say full load. We're actually the van is on its arse today. Oh, let's unload the cans first. Absolute nightmare getting here. They've shut. They've shut one of the main roads to get to the to get past this estate. What I'm on, and then they've decided to put freeway traffic lights on the estate, which has absolutely messed it up. So it's taken me like an hour to do a five minute journey. Absolute ridiculousness. And then I got to the scrapyard, the scrapyard's got no internet, so I can't weigh my internet, uh, weigh my um, non ferris I can, but I won't get paid, I don't understand. I will get paid eventually, but not today, I don't know. All I know is I need to undo this van, because it is brimming. We've got a lot of gear. Hell of a lot. Uh, Cam oh. up there is making loads of bloody noise. Brilliant. Literally, you've been sitting there for 10 minutes, not doing a thing. And then as soon as I start, we've got some cable here. Last bit of cable. Oh. 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 But we're not getting rid of it today. Because, well, we're not getting rid of it yet. Because, oh, I'm stuck. I don't know if I am getting rid of it. I'll have to go and speak to Mark. I might be able to get rid of it and then just get paid later. But, I've got to get it off this clipper. Right. Cable. Cable and non-ferris, I think, it's going to go in there. Like, this starter motor. Shout out to one of my subscribers because most of this came from him. You know who you are, so thank you very much. So one of my subscribers collects a bit of scrap himself and he takes all the non-ferris out of it but strips it to the point of taking all the copper out of the fridge pots and motors and stuff and then he gives me all the shearing afterwards which is very very nice he makes money and i'll make a bit of money so everyone's a winner he could make more money but so he doesn't like to mess around in the scrapyard with this sort of stuff, so he's more than happy to give it to me. And obviously I'm more than happy to take it. So yeah, that is um, basically it. This isn't stainless, by the way, it's a steel one. Right. Stand back. Oh, I've got a motor there. Jubbly. Definitely better not leave them here. Can I just see something that goes in? Does that work? I wonder if that works. Oh, it does work. Keep that. That could be a fun little tool. Mm. 
along with gas bottles to go with it. Brand new saw, I know, I know it's rusty. Oh, do you know what? Bollocks. Throw that away, people. Look at that blue point. Probably would have been very expensive, but it's knackered, it's all rusty. Not for me to mess about with. So I've got some scrap off my uncle as well, so thank you mate. I know you're watching. A couple of bits I'm probably gonna keep that I picked up. This uh this big wrecking bar, it's a big it's a big wrecking bar. Well worth keeping. Um and maybe these. Maybe these. Someone, someone at the boot fair want them, I reckon. They've got to be worth a tenner. Oh, nice bag of laptops. I better pick all them back up in a minute. Another boiler carcass. Oh dear, oh dear. Probably a bit of this would have gone as iron the alley, but prices, ain't, prices just ain't worth it. I honestly, can't be asked with iron the alley. It's a bit different if I've got a full van load of it, but when it ain't, it really ain't worth mucking about with. Not for me anyway. But... I know everyone's different, but for me now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, this time of year, crabs. Yep, I said it, crabs. They, sharp, they start shedding their shell, which makes them very, very appealing to fishermen. Um, and I'll get 90 pence each crab. 
Um, and on a good day, we can go and pick up 300 a tide, 400 a tide, and that's two tides a day. So you do the maths. I definitely don't need to be picking up washing machines when I'm going to pick up a couple of buckets full of crabs and sell them. It's the time of year where I make most of my living, I would have thought, throughout the year. It's the, it's the money that pays for holidays and new car if I need one and stuff like that. So, they've not properly started yet, but there's a few about. I've had Matt with me. Oh, because it's just, it's just as competitive as scrapping, I would have thought. Um, and everyone's got their own little patch where they go and get them. And pick you up the... You put traps and stuff out to to catch these crabs, and then you get people want to come down and go through your traps. Which, no, it don't happen. If you want peelers, then you go and put your own traps out, and you go and get them. You don't go through anyone else's traps, but you still get people trying. And uh, well, they soon get told, basically. But it's the sort of thing where, if they was around for longer, if they was around all year round, I would never, I wouldn't be doing scrapping, that's for sure. At all, like never. I wouldn't need to. Well, we not packed it well. motor in that. Not really worth it, but oh well, it's out. Big shout out again everyone, thank you very much. You're all still watching, subscribing. Views have dropped a little bit, but it is what it is. I know I'm not gonna get hundreds of thousands of views on every video. But if you are new here, go and have a look through some of the old ones. We've had some good days. We've had some bad days. We've had some amazing days. Once in a lifetime days. And we also had some annoying days where nothing wants to come out. side door because this is going up in here. Oh dear. There's only good stuff here son. with a non ferris Can I wait in here and just pay me later? Yeah, same thing. Yeah. 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 
gets internet back up and running. So we're relying on Darren? Uh, yeah, or potentially like just early on in the Yeah, I don't mind when it is. I'll just be nice to get rid of it all. But yeah, I certainly ain't relying on Darren. Bless him. Oh, we're getting there. I can't be asked to break this. There's only four in here. For an extra, for an extra one P a kilo. I ain't worth it. Keep them. Get out. I've got no. Get up and go for this today. I really can't be asked. Sitting in traffic, I ain't sitting in traffic. There's another dent on the van. Is that what he's waiting for to come in here? Yeah. Oh yeah, go on. That's the bar I'm keeping. Big wrecking bar. Worth 20 quid of anyone's money. Told you she was a full up load. I'll get all this armour off these things. It's going to be a pain in the arse, I reckon. Because I've got no tools.
get in there. We are getting there. Slowly but surely. Right. Oh, my decent snip's gonna cut through that. Rather than unscrew it. Will it come unscrewed easier? Maybe. We'll try that in a minute. Mate. Warm today. Sweating like Gary Glitter in the playground. Valley in there. Got a copper on. Can I be asked to do that now? No. Boiler staying. And that's the end of that. The boiler is staying. Right. Bear with me. Let's see if these will just undo these nuts. And we'll just pull this cable out. That's not going to do it, is it? These might have to stay in all guys, to be honest. Right, yeah. I want my saw, just going to cut straight through my saw, so I'm not going to muck about that. All that. I need to get a non-ferrous bag back in the van and I won't even bother with a non-ferrous. I think we'll do this and then we'll I'll get all this sorted and then I'll come over and wind the non-ferrous afterwards and then I'll bring the video back and give you a price on that. So I'm going to get that back in here, get weighed off and then um, I'll go home and do all this little crappy bits on the drive. Once I've got my uh, my recip sorted, just cut straight through that then I won't have to muck about too much. So yeah, I'll bring it back in a bit. Just quickly guys, I haven't made a video on this weighing because it wasn't a lot, but someone has just dumped all that copper pipe. I'm assuming they've dumped it in the pile when Cam's dragged it out with a grab. Copper and brass, look at it, look. Rakes of it. Actually unbelievable. Well, the e-way spin looks like it's gone as well, so. Um, I'll tell you what, I might as well finish the video here. Yesterday I done the last job, the last uh, video that I made for you guys, and it, uh, I had to go, I had to weigh my ferris stuff in and then come back later on with non-ferris because the internet was down. So I'm pretty certain the non-ferris paid about 140 and then all the other bits and bobs that I had paid, oh I can't remember now, about 60 or 70 quid, so about 210 pounds, something like that. Um, 
Yeah, which wasn't bad. It could have been better, but it wasn't bad. But I'm now on my way to go and pick up something that could be ultra, ultra cool. I have no idea what it is, but keep your eyes open for the next video because, yeah, it, it, it I've been sent some pictures, railway stuff, so there's copper involved, I'm sure of it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone.